these cultures that we're going to, people don't care what you look like or what you smell like or, you know, they care about the message that you have. Twenty-eight-year-old Emily Wright of Virginia Beach left her job, her apartment, and her family to take the World Race Challenge. That means over the next 11 months, Emily will visit 11 countries for about 30 days each. You know, I'm excited just to um, be a part of something bigger than myself. Her adventure began helping orphans in Mozambique. From there, she goes to Swaziland, South Africa, India, Nepal, Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, Malaysia, Moldova, and will end her journey in Romania. The world race, now in its seventh year, establishes contacts in each country, so Emily and her team will work with local churches and ministries in the region. The ministries could range from vacation Bible school to working in orphanages to ministering to um, women and children who have been in human trafficking, especially in, in Southeast Asia. Emily's group is part of a larger team of about 50 racers who have been asked to travel light. I will have uh, one backpack for the entire 11 months and I'll be um, taking a tent. So sometimes we'll have accommodations and sometimes we won't. How do you feel about going a week without a shower? I'm uh, the type of girl who can, can handle that. And <laughs> um, we, in training, we had, we had practice doing that. We, we were living in the woods for a week, group of 50 people <laughs> getting close together. World Race founder Seth Barnes came up with the idea several years ago to give young people an alternative to the nine to five routine. We push people to do what we call a, a loop 10 kind of um, journey where they go out and they take virtually nothing and they know that they've got all spiritual authority and we, we ask them to pray for local needs and see what God does when he shows up. And it, it inevitably changes them as they see, as they depend on God with you know, total dependence that he shows up in power. Barnes says thousands of young people apply each year because they're looking for more. By leaving all of this stuff that has defined us and just allowing God to open up his possibilities in all different cultures, uh, they find that, that there's more to life, that, that this yearning that they've had inside has an answer. One thing Emily and her team are discovering is that mission work can be tough and that spiritual warfare is real. Emily shared this recent blog post from Mozambique. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. In ministry, I see children who are dying in the hospital who have nothing. No bed sheets, no food, no doctors, no paper towels to wipe up their mess. It's so easy to just see the hopelessness and the darkness. But the truth is that God has authority over every seemingly hopeless situation. He is trustworthy, he is good, and he is our healer. And ultimately, he has already defeated sickness and death. If you'd like to take the World Race Challenge like Emily, you just need to be between the ages of 21 and 35 and have a heart for missions and adventure. It'll cost you about $15,000 for the entire journey, but you don't have to have it all before you go. Emily says although the journey is not always easy, her mission remains the same, God's love whatever form that takes, giving them shoes or, or um, you know, taking them out for an evening or Jesus said to heal the sick, cast out demons and raise the dead. And so they really ask you to have that kind of faith. Wendy Griffith, CBN News.